Good morning, Anna Maria here with Diary of a Goat Lass, How to Fabricate Butcher Cuts. Now this might seem like a bit of an odd, ep odd episode title, but uh, there's a very good reason for that. On the farm, it really is true, you will never learn any better lessons. One of the most crucial probably being this. Things die, sometimes very quickly. Sometimes giving them a quick death is the best thing you can do for them. Uh, that there you see is my Billy, who, had su who was uh, suffering from a rather very nasty case of, hey, whoosh, out, my bad, of uh, urinary calculi. Long story short, um, he couldn't pee. So the biggest mercy we did for him, we gave him a quick death. So I'll at least get to show you guys how to fabricate quick home butcher cuts. So without further ado, give me a few shakes and I will go get set up in the other garage, which is where we do all of our meat cutting. It is extremely clean. All right. So give me two shakes. See ya. Alrighty, we've got our station set up. We've got, it's just plain old garbage bag, but it's clean. Everything in here is clean. We've got bags ready, uh, just plain old zip top bags, plain old zip top bags to put everything in. Uh, we've got a very sweet little toy. We'll show you guys in a minute. And here comes my dad with one half of a goat. Alrighty, and you for a ball stay outside. I'm just hoping for a uh, Scooby Snacks. Alright. Quite a bit for an eight month old goat. He sure was nice. Yeah, he was a good size. Okay. Right. I'll go back. There you go, right there. Alrighty. Now, technically, if you slice this in half, you'd have a shank end and then you'd have the butt end, technically, like on a pig. But we're going to leave this hole simply because that then we have a nicer cut of meat. Alright, now, the fun part. The ribs. Okay, slice down the middle, you've got your bottom end, which has um, the sternum, and you've got your top end, and if you look here, that's the loin. We're not going to worry about that, because if you were to cut across the middle here, then up here you would have what is called the crown roast, but uh, we don't do fancy stuff like that here. Either way, I'd like to introduce you to my dad and our favorite toy. The Sawzall. Well, technically it's a reciprocating saw equipped with a, uh, what is it equipped with? A fine tooth, uh... 12 inch blade. Alrighty. Okay. I'm gonna saw right across there. Start from here. I'll start okay. the cut here. Right there. Right across. There we go. Should just go right down here, right up where the shoulder is. Now you want them cut in half now? Nope, nope. This is half, uh, half actually, yeah, we should probably take the sternum off. Now, the next part, I'm going to take care of the front leg here. Now, have you ever, ever done a uh, deer? This is pretty much the same thing. And up here, that's the neck. Great chops there. Believe it or not, neck chops are pretty common cut on goats. Makes great curry. Okay, there we go. And if you've ever done work on a chicken, this is pretty much the same thing. Right there. Aha, there you are. And you're done. There's an arm. Makes great tasty roast. Alright. More nice fajita roast meat here. Skirt steak. Right there. Okay, this is the neck. Ideally you would snip right about there because then this whole section you cut. But we're going to bust this up first. You're going to take off the sternum right here, and this will all get cooked up as curry ribs. So you want to cut where? All right, and I'll show you right across yeah. there. Don't try this at home, kids. There, now on a pig, this would be baby back ribs. This would be your short ribs, better for slow cooking. Next, the neck. Now, 
again, I know, for example, some people really like um, having uh, the loin as a chop, like on a pig. But uh, as I said, this is goat. Your neck, great soup meat there. And there's the rest of your rib with loin intact. As I said, you could take the trouble and remove this loin, and then you could slice it into nice thick medallion chops, but why bother? It's all really but great. But the bags aren't big enough to freeze all that. Exactly. So we will bisect. Back in half once. The ribs, you can fold. Okay. This is not going to get cut, though. Yeah, that will have to get cut in half, which is okay. So we're going to split this in half. That piece, okay. and you're done. Yep. Beautiful. Nice leg of Perfect. lamb. Wow. Goat. Leg of goat. <laughs> Indeed. Chevron, actually, it's called. And we got beautiful skirt meat here. Tasty, tasty cooking. And seriously, how fast was that? Like what? Five minutes? Not very long. <laughs> it a, works. a side of goat cut. In less than five minutes. And you know what? You've got almost all of your major butcher cuts here, right? Beautiful ribs. You got side meat, everything, and you're done. So then we, all we got to do is go get the next one, and we're done. Thank you for the help, Dad. Sixteen point five four times two point two equals thirty six point three eight pounds. For an eight for an eight month old goat, that's not bad. Serious? You said thirty six and a half pounds of meat. Thirty six and a half pounds out of an eight month old goat. That's pretty bloody good. All right. Thank you all very kindly for enjoying. I hope you learned something today. God bless. Later, taters.